Hi everybody, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about technology. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about one piece of technology in particular. This little silver and black gadget called the Leap Motion. Now before I talk about this device, I want to get into some of the challenges of doing sign language Bible translation. So whenever you do a sign language Bible translation, you usually have a person signing uh, in a video, and that's usually distributed by DVD or on the internet. The problem with this is that you're always going to have a person associated with your video. In this case, you're going to have a person associated with a Bible translation. Now, this could cause problems for lots of reasons. For instance, this person could have a particularly bad reputation in the community for doing something or other. Um, and people might not want to watch your Bible translation because they know that person, they know what they've done. Alternatively, there's privacy and anonymity issues. You know, in certain places, it's not popular to be a Christian or even illegal. And to have a person's face associated with the Bible translation could get that person in a lot of trouble with the law. Finally, there's denominational issues. You could have, uh, you know, let's say a Catholic signing your Bible translation and all the Protestants who don't get along with Catholics won't use your Bible translation because of who is doing the signing. So, really, there's not a simple way to get around this problem. Um, one of the things that we've been looking at is using computer animation to have an animated character do the signing instead of a real person. Now, while it's possible to just create an animated character from scratch and animate them doing the individual signs, it's very, very time-consuming and not always as lifelike as if you have a real person doing it. So, another thing we're looking into is the possibility of using a person's movements, facial expressions, hands, their signing to drive or control an animated character. Think of it as a super science fiction puppet where I'm standing here and I'm signing and an animated character is doing exactly the same thing as me. But they don't look like me. You can dress them up however you want. You can give them a beard. You can shave them. You can have them be whatever kind of character you want. Okay. And this protects the identity of the person doing the signing, as well as puts some distance between your Bible translation and whoever you have doing the actual sign language. The challenge then is finding a way to capture the motion of the signer and use that to drive the animated character, which is a lot more difficult than you might think because computers aren't very good at recognizing things like motion and even pictures. So there's a lot of technology that needs to happen behind the scenes to make a project like this work. So with this goal in mind, I purchased this new little piece of technology called the Leap Motion. The little silver and black box about the size of a stick of chewing gum. And it's designed to capture hand motions and make them accessible and understandable by a computer. So what this machine does is it actually captures all hand movement in a one meter square area above the box. So the theory goes is that you can place this on your desk and make hand motions above it to capture the movement of your hands and use that to interact with your computer. Let's see how it works. So I've taken the Leap Motion, I've hooked it up to my computer. What I'm able to do now is physically reach inside the computer and have the Leap Motion recognize my hand movements and gestures. So I, so I can take my hand and reach like this and my hand here in real space is matched by the hand on the screen. I can move my fingers like this. I can turn my hand to side to side. I can make a fist. I can just have two fingers out like this at a time, moving back and forth. And the leap motion captures all of my movements. Now at first, this looks really, really cool. And it captures, seems to mirror my movements pretty well. But as you can see, there are some issues. If I start to make contact between two of my fingers, it doesn't match up very well with reality. Sometimes it'll get a finger wrong, sometimes it won't quite match, and as I start to turn my hand sideways, that's when it really starts to have difficulties. It has a hard time recognizing what I'm doing with my hand. So right now, my hand is palm up, and the sensor still thinks that my hand is palm down. If I turn my hand around, open my fingers, and do it again, it works, but it still has some issues with matching my hand movements exactly. Um, 
I can also do both hands at once and have interactions between hands, but while it's doing an okay job of matching the, the movements, it doesn't match the interaction between the hands very well. So as you can see here, I have all five of my fingers touching each other, but on the screen, it's nothing like that. Okay, they get jumbled up and confused and have all sorts of issues. So really though, what this pr device is designed for is just doing things like recognizing gestures. So you could do something like use one finger to draw a circle or two fingers to do a Z or you know three fingers to do a W shape and your computer will do something like open a window or change a program or something like that. Like regular interacting with windows kinds of things. And for that kind of program, for that kind of application, it works pretty well. But for something like this, the advanced motion capture that you need to recognize data from a sign language, it's just not up to speed yet. So they are continuing to develop this device little by little. And as they make improvements, it becomes closer to what we need to do sign language Bible translation, but it's still not there yet. So, in summary, the leap motion is a fascinating concept that holds a lot of potential for the future. But really, the technology and the programming is not to the point where it needs to be at to capture sign language accurately. Alternatively, however, Wycliffe is working on another program called WordSign, which uses different types of cameras to do essentially the same thing. That is, capture the motion of a signer and use it to drive an animated character. You can learn more about WordSign at www.wordsign.org. So that's it for today, folks. I hope you found this interesting.